guys, what's up? Um, yeah, it's been a while since I've last spoken to you guys. I don't know, I was just feeling a little down and, um, yeah. I just need a little time off from pretty much everything. I haven't posted that much on social media or anything. So I just took a little MIA trip off of social media and stuff. I was gonna do a favorites video. I haven't done one of these in a long, long time. And yeah, my setup has changed in the back. I finally put up all my pictures in my background. You see all the wall over there. And yeah, I am using a different camera because my camera, my DSLR camera just, it won't turn on anymore. Like the LCD screen just won't turn on anymore. I don't know, I think it's telling me it's time for a new camera, which Black Friday is just around the corner. So I might buy a new D DSLR camera, but for now we're using my Sony camera. So I hope you don't mind about that because the last few videos have been filmed with this camera. And it has like autofocus and stuff, so that's pretty cool. Let's just get straight to the favorites video. I have a lot of makeup favorites. I don't know if I've shown these in the past, probably have, but I've just been using them so much. Um, I have two palettes in my favorites. It is the Tarte palette, the Tartelette in Bloom palette, and the Becca by Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, I've been into highlighting this month and these past few months that I haven't done a favorites video. Um, I wasn't really into highlighting because I was like, why do you want to put more of like glitter on your face or like shine on your face if you're already shiny? But yeah, anyways, I, I wanted you guys to recommend me like a primer or like a foundation, powder foundation that doesn't leave your skin looking shiny after a couple of hours because so far I've been having a problem of like shine around my T-zone which I never used to have and I'm still using the same product so something's changed or I need to try something new. But anyways, I would love to know your recommendations and stuff like that because yeah. It's not pretty. I've been using the Jaclyn Hill um, highlighting palette. I only use the middle one, like the rose gold color. I don't know. I'm not into these two other colors. Maybe I'll use these for like an eyeshadow and like my highlight, like for my brow one or something. But so far, I've just been using the middle color and I've been loving it. I'm actually wearing it today. So uh, yeah. And yeah, I just love this palette. Another palette it is the Tartlet palette. And I freaking love this palette. Like, I use this pretty much almost every day, not really. I use the Naked Urban Decay Naked Basics palette every day. Uh, but um, yeah, whenever I'm feeling like I want to put a little color on my eyelids, a little neutral color on my eyelids, uh, I use this palette and let me just tell you, this palette smells like candy. Like, it smells so good. I don't know, but every time I like pick a color, I'm like sniffing this thing. It smells so good, like it smells so good. You get a bunch of colors, a bunch of neutral colors in this palette. Um, some shiny ones, some matte ones, and it's just all around a great palette. If you haven't gotten yet or thinking of what, what to try from part, you should probably get this palette. And it's a great palette, it's really pigmented. I'm also using this palette on my eyelids. Um, I decided to you know, put a little, I don't know, definition in my eyes. I don't really like to go all out or like dark, dark, smoky eye, but I decided to put something on my eyelids today because I kind of felt like I needed a little makeup on my face. You know, you have those days where you just want to play around with makeup. Today is one of those days. The next thing I've been loving is also from Tarte. I, I love Tarte. Tarte is like my favorite brand ever. Uh, so, um, it is this eyeliner. I got it when it was on sale on the website. They were having like the sale thing. I got some lipsticks to go with it too, but yeah, this is the eyeliner I've been using. It's a dual end, so it comes with a like pencil liner. Uh, thingy on one side and then it comes with a felt tip liner on oh, but mine's are kind of like broken uh, so it comes with like this spring thing comes off like I have to work with it to get it off which is kind of annoying but come on work with it see felt tip liner on one end and this is like oh do you see how pigmented it is whoa I use this for my wing liner I didn't use it today because it's kind of running out of juice um, I need another one of these but in the meantime I'm also been using this Tarte clay uh, clay paint liner I love this liner and this is the one I've been using um, pretty much every day since my other one has run out of juice and this one you you know it's kind of like you have to work with it because you have to brush and you have to dip it and today I did this um, eyeliner my eyeliner I can never get the two of them to match but you know they're sisters not twins um, but yeah so that's what I've been wearing, um, and it's matte. I love a matte eyeliner. I don't like the shiny look of a eyeliner, like it's too liquidy or like it looks shiny. I don't like the look of that. I like a matte liner, and these are both, they dry matte. So yeah, the next thing I've been loving is this Lancome um, makeup stick. Um, it has sunscreen and all that jazz. Um, Lancome did send this to me like a long, long time ago, but this is the color that matches me. It looks light, but I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, 
I blended it out with this little sponge thingy that I've been loving these like makeup beauty blender sponges. I've been using a lot of things that I don't normally use like a sponge. I don't usually normally use a sponge but for this it works and this is what I've been using and this color pretty much matches me perfectly. Looks like this and then the color is in, what is this color? Um, 320 Bisque um, N. There's um, some other ones. I like long comb sent me like so many. I also have this like like darker one, so I can use as a um, bronzer, you know, to define my chisel out my cheeks and stuff. What I've been loving is this Milani um, Prep Set and Go Transparent Face Powder. I've been stocking up on these because I use this as a setting powder. But if like my face gets like oily or it starts getting, you no, know, not cute. I put this on and it just mattifies my whole face and it doesn't leave you like a white cast. I mean as long as you don't wear a lot, you don't put a lot, you know, think about that. But yeah, I've been using this and obviously I've been loving it because, hello, I hit pan. So another makeup item I've been loving, Tarte again, it is the Tarte uh, Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. I bought the bigger version when I was at BeautyCon I believe, yeah, I got the bitter, bigger version and hit pan already and I've been loving this at wearing it today like most of these items I'm wearing it on my face today because yeah next makeup item is um, I got this recently and I wasn't too sure about it but I'm actually quite loving it it is the Smashbox I believe it's like a matte liquid uh, lipstick or something like that but it looks like this I got it in I believe a um, I believe I got it in the, like a subscription box but yeah, I'm actually wearing it right now. I wasn't too sure about it because it is like, it kind of looks kind of orangey, but it dries matte and it doesn't move. The, the thing I had a problem with was it kind of looked orangey, but after a while I started, you know, looking at myself and checking myself out because that's how I do sometimes. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so after I put this on, it dried matte and yeah, I've been loving the color. I'm wearing it right now and I'm loving it. So another lipstick I've been loving, it's more of a darker color and it's Diva by MAC and I've been pretty much using this as an everyday color. What? I used to not wear like such deep 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 colors but this just works out for me. Um, I've been using it every day as an everyday lipstick. It looks pretty. Yeah. If you're looking for a deep um, plum lipstick, let me just give you a swatch of it. Looks like that. Try Diva and yeah. And it's a matte um, lipstick but it doesn't dry matte up and it doesn't feel matte to me. Um, maybe because I put like a um, chapstick under it. Just so I will get the cracked lip look. Not per. The lip balm I've been using under that lipstick, it is the Kiehl's Lip Balm Number no. 1. I actually went to the mall um, a couple of weeks ago and bought two of these bad boys because that's how much I love it. And they're not that expensive, they're kind of around the uh, range of the um, lip glosses you can buy from Bath & Body Works. They're $7, so not that expensive for Kiehl's, I mean in my opinion. It could, you could think that's way expensive for a lip, a lip balm, but yeah, I love it. A skincare um, item I've been loving and I tell you guys every time I go to Daiso, you must pick up these Pore Care Packs. They are like exactly the same as a Biore Pore Strip. I mean, I use these pretty much every week because I suffer from like blackheads and whiteheads around my nose, my chin. And if you have that problem and you want to get rid of them or, you know, try to, you know, get rid of some of them, get these pore strip packs. I mean, they're four for $1.50. I mean, that's not bad at all. You get probably around eight at for Biore pore strips for around six or $7, something like that. I don't know if they raised the prices um, recently, but yeah I get whenever I go to Daiso I pick like five or six up of these um, depending on how many they have in stock but I usually pick up five every time I go and I haven't been recently I need to stock up because I'm running low on these and yeah they're amazing they get rid of all the gunk around your nose or wherever you have whiteheads or blackheads they're just amazing yes so I can't do a favorites without doing my musica favorites you know my music favorites yes so I'm just gonna go to Spotify, and no, I'm not sponsored by Spotify, but if you're listening to Spotify, sponsor me. Yeah. So the first song I've been loving is called All Time Low by John Bellion. Um, yeah. If you haven't heard it before, the first time I heard it was on Spotify, um, and then I heard it on the radio, but I love it. Um, but it sounds like this, if you haven't heard it before. Yeah, it sounds like this. Um, 
sounds like that. If you haven't heard it before, you know, it just doesn't say low, 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 you know. It doesn't say that like the whole song, but it's kind of catchy if you know if you hear it a bunch of times, I'm just it's very catchy. But anyways, that's the first song I've been loving. Another song I've been loving is Chantaje by Shakira and Maluma. Uh, the first time I heard it was on the radio and I just fell in love with it. Songs like this, if you haven't heard it before. Yeah, songs like that to really like upbeat, kind of want to get up and dance. I love listening to this when I'm like in traffic because I go to work so far away from my house. It's like an hour and a half, maybe two hour drive when there's traffic. Um, and you know you want something to just, you know, get up and dance and not feel like bored in traffic because I hate being in traffic. Anyways. Yeah. Another song I've been loving, the first time I heard it, I wasn't too sure about, I don't know, it just has like a weird kind of beat when she sings it, um, but I'm starting to like it and I'm really, really like it. It's called Bad Things by Machine Gun Kelly and Camila Cabello. Um, it sounds like this if you haven't heard it before, I mean, if you haven't heard it before, where have you been? It sounds like this. I've been loving the song lately and yeah, so those are the top three songs I've been loving so far. I mean, I have like a whole bunch of like Spotify playlists going on, but yeah, so those are the songs I've been loving on the radio so far. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and as always, I love you guys and stay tuned to my next video whenever that comes out, you know, because I always disappear. I know. I know. I am aware of that. But yeah. That's pretty much it, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!